Hey guys and welcome back to our brand new game asset modeling video. Well in this part we're going to do a low poly battle axe and then later on we're going to do a high poly and we're going to bake that in Substance Painter and get some nice textures on that. Okay, so let's uh, start with the first one. Here we go. Okay guys, so we're in uh, Maya 2017. Let's get started. We're going to start with a polygon cube and we're going to start in the middle of our grid like so. We're going to hit R, we're going to push that in just slightly. And then from there, I'm going to right click, go to face, select that face, hit Control E to extrude, and W to pull out, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump to our uh, front view here. And we are going to hit R, pull that up. Let's hit the G to repeat, W to pull out. R to pull up some more. G to repeat. W to pull out. And R to pull up some more. Keep on going. G, W. And R to push that up some more. And G, W. One more time. And push that way, way up like this. And then we're going to hit G, W, and we're going to start to come back. Okay. G to repeat, W to pull out. I want this to be pushed back a little bit so it looks a bit more round like that and then we're going to jump to the back here we're going to take that face right there control e as well w to push back we'll jump back to that view again like so g to repeat w to pull out are the scale and in this case we're going to push that up quite hard g to repeat w to pull out to about there and r to push back in i have to zoom in so we can get that nice and neat like so now this is not an end gun which is good now what we're going to do is we're going to go in from the top view and let's see if we can tweak this a little bit we are going to add an edge loop, so we're going to go to insert edge loop option box. Um, we're going to do multiple and set that to one, because as a result, it will be smack in the middle right there. Okay, so we can now hit Q on our keyboard, and we can start to move in some vertices. So let's jump to our top view. Actually, we need multiple views open so we can see what's going on. Uh, hang on. Let's see here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click at a vertex and I'm going to drag select these and then hit R. I'm going to push them in. And what I'll do is I'll zoom in a little bit here so we can see what's going on. So I want those to be in there. That too. That one slightly less. And then let's see that one. That's the one on the top right there. We'll push that in a little bit as well. And then from there we can actually, let's not do that. Let's go control Z. We'll start to come in from here, here. And we want to have a little bit of meat in that metal, if you will. This is basically the area where our handle will start somewhere in this area. So we're going to need to leave those alone. Just hang on guys. There we go. So we'll leave those alone. Uh, we'll go here. We'll take those and push that in as well. Um, let's see. 
object mode, come on, I like the vertex. Uh, let's see, we'll take these two, place that one in. Maybe even something like so. That looks kind of cool. All right, so if we have a look from this point of view, that's basically what that would look like. And it looks like we can come in a little bit more on these right here. And sometimes you just need to kind of eyeball that. And then we'll take these these and we'll take the top ones and the bottom ones okay that works for me I think yeah we need to tweak these just a little bit they look a bit off Okay, so let's do this, All right? So now we have the main blade, if you will. Let's uh, go and create an opening right here. So I'm going to uh, right click, go to edge, take this one and this one. I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, mesh tools and we will i'm just looking for where it's at detach meaning that i should now be able to go to this face right here the w and push that open they don't seem to detach which is not good Okay, so now let's uh, worry about our handle right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go in and let's do injured edge loop. It's still at one. We'll do one here in the middle, like so. And then we'll uh, jump into the top. We'll right click on our vertex. Vertex mode, the, come on. There we go. And I'm gonna hit R, and I'm gonna push these out just slightly, or maybe even in this shape. That looks kind of cool, I think. Yeah, it does. Yeah, kind of adds to the whole feel of it. I'll just bring these in while we're at it. Okay, and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take these faces. Hit delete, let's do the same down here. And this is not planned in any way, so I'm just kind of figuring this out as we move forward, okay? So what are we gonna do here? Uh, let me think, let me think. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to edge and we're gonna take Top surrounding edge and the bottom surrounding edge. We're gonna control E to extrude. We're gonna hit R to scale in like so. And that looks fine in my opinion. And that is the top of our axe, okay. So next we're gonna put in a handle and that is uh, something we will start with by creating a cylinder. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. We're gonna go in and we're gonna reduce this to, let's see, eight. Let's push that in so we can compare. Look at it from our top view. That should be six. Uh, am I right? Let's see. Hit E to rotate. Come on. Object mode. E to rotate. Hold on J. And there you have it. Okay. 
So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that up, make sure it's a nice fit. And because we drag the other one out manually, we need to make sure it's a nice fit. We're gonna make sure the orientation is okay. Let's pull that up a little. And that doesn't look too bad. We're gonna go in to insert edge loop. Actually, we need to go in and set it to manual setting because otherwise it'll be in the middle. So let's do one around there. Q on our keyboard, right click face. We're gonna click and double click all the way around at the top. Control E to extrude. And then let's see, we can do it this way. We can use thickness. That's one way of doing it. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that, okay? Then we're gonna look at the bottom part here. We're gonna right click, go to uh, vertex. Let's drag select these. And let's hit W and push them down. Something like so. Maybe a bit shorter. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, hit F to zoom in. We're gonna right click at a face. Like these faces, hit Control E to extrude and W to push it down. And we're going to look at it from this angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit R. We're going to scale them out a little bit, and we're going to hit E, and we're going to rotate that slightly. Looks like I got something selected that I shouldn't have. So let's go back a few steps. Hit four for wireframe mode and there you have it. Apparently I had a face selected on the back end there. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're gonna hit five for shaded mode again. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna take our faces here. Okay. We're gonna hit control E to extrude again, W to push it down, R to kind of flare out a little bit. And now we can start to kind of add a little shape to this, okay? So we're gonna hit E, we're gonna rotate, and make sure we got the right one, the blue one here, or now it's yellow. And we're gonna move it in like this. We're gonna hit G to repeat, and W to pull down, R to scale a bit, W to move it, G to repeat, W to pull down, R to scale, W to move it. Okay, and if we like, we can kind of tweak this a little bit by going into insert edge loop. And let's do multiple and we'll do four or five maybe. Five, like that, okay. So just to tweak it a little bit. So what you can do here is hit Q on your keyboard, right click vertex, drag select that, W, just to bring that out a little bit. And kind of add a slight curve there. And then this will go in that direction and make it look slightly cooler. Okay, let's see if this looks all right, if there's nothing weird going on here. And I think it's okay. Let's uh, check our poly count here. So I'm gonna drag select this. We're gonna go to, uh, let's see, where's that thing again? Display, heads up display and poly count. Okay, so we have a poly count of 174, which is nice, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna go to mesh and clean up to make sure that there are no end guns and so forth. Uh, let's see, clean up, clean up, faces from the then four sides, apply and clean up. And then I'm gonna go in to edit, delete by type history, modify, 
freeze transformations. And what I can do is, because I want this to be my um, low poly model, I'm gonna color code it. So I'm gonna assign a new material. Let's do just a regular Lambert. It doesn't really matter that much. And we're just gonna give this an identification color for later. And we'll do the same here. So we'll take another Lambert and do that red. And then we're gonna select this. We're gonna go to mesh and combine. We're gonna go to file, export selection, option box, OBJ, that's fine. Export selection. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. I'm gonna call this X low poly. And I'll just save that on my desktop. Okay, all right. So now that we have our low poly, let's uh, create our high poly. Here we go. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.